This video will take you through the procedures for sampling and testing water for presence of fluoride. Your school would have received a water quality testing kit. The kit contains a dark colored plastic bottle that says fluoride reagent. It also contains a color chart like this one. With this kit, you can test up to 30 samples of water for the presence of fluoride. Let me make it clear that this kit will give you an indicative result and not an exact concentration of fluoride in the water sample. Usually, fluoride levels are higher in groundwater as compared to surface water. Therefore, you need to look for a groundwater source. This includes tube well, open well and bore well. If you get municipal water supply in your home, chances are that it comes from a surface water source. Look around in your neighborhood. If you see a structure like this, it will probably be an outlet from a bore well. A tube well will typically be connected to a hand pump that looks like this. You are likely to find tube wells or bore wells in municipal parks, apartment complexes, schools, slums and rural areas. Some old houses may also have open wells in their premises. Collect a sample of water from any of these sources. Wash a plastic bottle at least two to three times with water. Each bottle should have a tight stopper or cap. Fill the bottle with the water sample to be analyzed and slowly cap it. Make a note of the date and time of water collection, location of water source and type of water source. Under this project, we will be putting up all the water quality test results on an internet based map platform. The correct postal address and pin code of the location will help us put up the results correctly on the map. So please do not forget to collect this information. Label the date and time of water collection as well as the location details on the bottle. Bring the bottle to school for testing. The water quality testing is best done in the chemistry lab. Keep the following items ready before you start the test. Fluoride reagent, color chart, water sample, a test tube with a well-fitting rubber cork, a test tube holder, a measuring cylinder of capacity 10 ml and a notebook. Larger measuring cylinders will not be accurate for this test. Buy a 10 ml measuring cylinder if your lab does not have one. The test is to be conducted near a sink. In a notebook, write the date and time of water sample collection, location and type of the water source. Using a portion of sample water, rinse the measuring cylinder. Also rinse the test tube and the rubber cork using a portion of sample water. Shake the measuring cylinder, test tube and cork to remove as much of the residual water as possible. Measure 4 ml of the water sample using the measuring cylinder. Keep the measuring cylinder at eye level to avoid parallax. Transfer this 4 ml of sample into the test tube. Put 15 drops of fluoride reagent into the test tube. Cork the 
test tube and shake it gently so that the reagent mixes uniformly with the water sample. You must have noticed a color change in the water sample. Compare this color with the colors in the color chart. Note the fluoride level mentioned against the closest color on the color chart. Empty the contents of the test tube in the sink and wash the test tube and the rubber cork thoroughly. You are now ready to test the next water sample. When you collect the water sample and test them, take photographs or videos. These can also be uploaded along with your results. Instructions for uploading the results are available on this site. Please submit your results before the end of February 2012. If the fluoride level is less than 1.5 mg per litre, it is within the permissible limit as set by the Bureau of Indian Standards. If the fluoride level is more than 1.5 mg per litre, it is above permissible limit. In this case, we advise you to have the water sample tested in a certified lab. Based on the results received from the lab, you can take further action. Material related to fluoride contamination of groundwater is available on this site. Please refer to these for discussions in the classroom. For more information, send us an email to schools at indiawaterportal.org. Entire sampling and testing procedure are available in text form on this site. I wish you happy testing.